How's it going guys, Flair here, back with another Grand Theft Auto 5 Online video. Now this one's actually going to be on the topic of the next gen and PC releases of GTA 5 and of course online. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video, make sure to go and slap that like button down below as it really does show your support and it helps me out immensely. Now let's go. This video is actually going to be more specifically on the next gen and PC versions about the Snapmatic camera as you can probably already tell by the title. So for those of you that don't know, the current Snapmatic photos are taken at a resolution of 640 by 360 that's exactly half of a 720p YouTube video, which makes it pretty much useless for any type of content creation or any more HD online media. It's just unusable, it's too low quality. So something that I've been wanting for a long while is native resolution snapmatic images. So I'm not asking for 1080p pictures, those would be higher than GTA 5 next gen is going to be running at, so I'd imagine that's impossible. PC is another deal, because PC will be able to run at lots of different resolutions. I don't know how high it would go, I would assume 4K, or at least 1440 but we'll just have to see when that comes. I'll make more videos on that as it comes out. But we do know that the next gen version of GTA is going to be running at over 720p, so I'd see massive benefits to Snapmatics being in at least 720p. Content creators alone could use this for higher resolution thumbnail images and even for the in-video uses, which is more likely what I would be using it for if this was ever brought about. But even outside of the content creation realm, all players would surely enjoy a higher quality image taken whenever they want to snap an in-game image. Now for something like the actual Snapmatic camera on PC, if you could even get that 1080p, Assuming most people are running 1080p monitors, that would be great for making any wallpapers if you can get nice background shots in GTA 5 or online. It would mean that you could get a very easy wallpaper that you could then drag onto your desktop and apply from there. Whereas at the minute, none of them are remotely high quality enough to fit any of these standards. For those of you that maybe haven't had any interest on it or have never needed to do anything like it, have a look at this on screen now. So on screen now, I'm going to leave a picture that I took in GTA 5 with the in-game Snapmatic phone. It's at the proper resolution here, it'll of course be slightly downscaled by the fact that this is going to be rendered and uploaded to YouTube, so it will lose some quality, but for the most part, this is the size that it's going to look at, and it's pretty similar to the original quality. And now, this is what happens if I try to make it fill the entire screen. It doesn't look good at all, it's completely unusable, it's half the pixel density, meaning that you get much, much less crisp details. So if we could get this kind of thing, but make it a native 720p quality, or even higher than that, which would be even better, of course, the higher the image quality is, the more things you can do with it. it opens you up to many more opportunities and any editing techniques you want to have for it is then opened up because you have that extra detail to add to it. I would love to see this implemented, I'd love to see, even if it's not 1080p or anything, just a minimum 720p image capture, so that's 1280 by 720 pixels for this Snapmatic in-game camera phone. I would love to see this, what do you guys think of that? And of course, go and leave a comment down below telling me what you guys think of this, or what you guys would like to see implemented around this Snapmatic camera phone? Is there a particular resolution that you guys would like to see? Or do you think anything that's just any higher quality would be beneficial for the player base? Like I said, leave that in a comment down below. While you're down there, hit the like button if you guys did enjoy the video as it really would help me out immensely and it does show your support. Subscribe for more videos just like this coming very, very soon. I've actually got a very, very special video coming definitely this weekend so you guys can be excited and look out for that. And finally, follow me on Twitter for any more exclusive updates, news on when DLC comes out or any leaks and anything before it gets uploaded to this channel, even if it ever does. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys all very much for watching. My name has been Flair. Signing out.